So we're going to continue to work through these. So we're going to create one for LinkedIn now. Uh, go back out to the Font Awesome, search for LinkedIn, and we get that LinkedIn Square icon. Update the icon here, the icon class, so that updates the icon. And here we've just got, again, this is the URL that we want to use. So this one does look like it's got quite a bit more information. Uh, so going back down to here, we're going to create a new case. I'm just going to comment that out, that string, so I can take that apart and work with that. So make sure that we do call the case the same as the uh, case that we're calling. Um, and we're just going to do this part, taking in that URL there. And next we've got title. So here we're going to have to add in a new one for title. And we're just going to create a new variable called title. And it's going to be the OG title that we're going to use in this one. We don't need all of this. And then again, adding it into the JavaScript string, so title. And it does look like we're going to have to encode that title. And, and summary. So that would be kind of like a description. So just add that in. So we're going to create a new one for description. And then again, you can always customize all of uh, this information. So just see which one we had as description. So we do have an, that's why I like the open graph ones because uh, they pretty much cover all the different meta information that you need. So we're just going to do description there. And again, uh, we're going to do an encode there. You might even be able to cut this down and just do a complete um, URI encoding of all of these this information. Uh, but again, uh, that's going to be dependent. So source. So probably don't need source, but we're just going to include that just in case. And so so far now, uh, we should be able to go back to our page, reload it, and we should have a LinkedIn button here. And so when we click that. It should share it on LinkedIn. Uh, so always, again, a good idea to check, uh, see what's happening there. So something uh, went wrong with that. So we got to do a quick check to just to make sure that we're calling over to. Um, so that's I didn't call the right um, the right value there. So sometimes it is always good to test it out and to check it. Uh, sometimes there's some quick errors like that when you're writing quickly. Uh, that you don't uh, you don't catch those but we can see here that the LinkedIn does appear to be working so again it's good to kind of be able to place it all in these pop-up windows and here again the OG tags pulling in that information as well as um, additional images so it's pulling in that image and all that information and here again you can pick where you want to share that update uh, so again, uh, pin it and read it. So we'll just go through those quickly as well. And then we've got a bunch of other ones too that we're going to be going through in the next lesson. So if we haven't caught your favorite social network, uh, don't worry, we're getting to it. Uh, so we're going to be going over a bunch more. Uh, so again, we can pretty much get rid of all of that for Pinterest. And... So I'm just going to check again, make sure that I spelt it right. And I'm going to do the same thing. I like to comment it out, uh, then build out that case there. Uh, so just calling it Pinterest, that URL. So again, it's good that uh, the format is roughly the same where we keep sharing that URL. It doesn't look like it's uh, encoded in this one, so we're just going to leave it as is. 
Uh, so this one is actually asking for media and then description. So we're going to be able to just change summary to description and I'm going to just change this to media. Can get rid of that encode. And here I'm going to just pick up a new variable and call it image. And again, so this is a great way to be able to then customize uh, your content that you're sharing. Uh, so if you are able to dynamically create that content, uh, this is going to be great for just simply being able to create that dynamic content. So if you have a quiz or a game and you want that, uh, that share information to change, uh, depending on what um, on what values so you could really begin to make it dynamic in this format so just make sure that this one is working and then we'll hook up the other one as well so I'm going to refresh that oh I didn't find a Pinterest and again the Pinterest square so yeah so that's a good thing about font awesome is it gives you a whole bunch of options there for the different glyphs and uh, yeah you can really uh, really find all the different ones that you want to use so back to the page back to the refresh because we had added in uh, just duplicating out those buttons uh, so this is going to be Pinterest now so hopefully that works and so far so good and that's why I like to, to console out uh, this information while I'm working on it uh, just so I can see that I can constantly get that information so the last one that we're going to do within this lesson is going to be the reddit and again uh, reddit's actually should be fairly quick and I'm just going to go back to that font awesome search for reddit hopefully they have it and they do so again font awesome great resource and so that's uh, putting in that icon now all I have to do is copy this out. Uh, so this one just has a title and it looks like it's, it is uh, URI encrypted, uh, but the t URL isn't. So again, we're going to just hash this out for it, comment it out for a second and go to do Reddit, do the URL for Reddit. And again, we use that URL, and then we can just do title here. Uh, so we had title over here. Um, so maybe we could just copy this little bit of code out. And we don't need media. So that should, that looks correct. Uh, so that should be pulling in that title. And again, uh, once you get these default values, uh, you can just keep setting them over and over again. And then we have a Reddit. And again, good idea to test it out just to make sure everything's working properly. And it does look like we are able to post that. Um, sent us to a login there. Uh, so I guess we have to log in to make the post. Uh, but it does look like it is working correct. So again, um, that's how you add in all of these different social networks. And in the next lesson, we're going to continue at it. Uh, adding in a whole bunch of new ones as well. So just uh, uh, just for the sake of showing you that uh, how easy it is now at this point. And when we look at this, this has now become really readable. Um, oh, I have this one there. That's probably what the error was. Uh, so just go back, refresh it. So just to get rid of uh, that additional coding, so it might have been causing some issues there. And again, I guess it's sending us over to, to log in and create an account. Uh, so again, um, we're going to add in some, some more social networks in the next lesson.